My name is Lynn Gant and I'm the team leader for the hybrid electric vehicle team of Virginia Tech. Uh, the Virginia Tech team just won first place overall in a three-year competition called EcoCar. It's primarily sponsored by the United States Department of Energy and General Motors. The focus was on improving fuel economy and trying to make sure that the consumer acceptability of the vehicle met what you would expect to, of a production level car. The vehicle that you see behind me was uh, built primarily by undergraduate students. We have a few uh, graduate mechanical engineering students like myself that are here purely for an advisory role. My name is Brad Bowman. Um, I'm a member of the mechanical sub team on the HEVT team. This is a senior design project for which all mechanical engineers have to do. So it was uh, already built into the course flow that we we're going to take. I was really dedicated to the team and so I wanted to see this project through and see it do well in competition. So I spent a lot of my free time and extra time coming to the shop, working on the vehicle, getting things working and seeing it through. On the front axle of our vehicle, we have a four-cylinder engine out of a Chevy HHR, and it's actually flex fuel capable. What this means is we can run on either gasoline or E85 or any mixture in between. So E85 is ethanol, and uh, we chose this because we wanted to reduce petroleum energy use. So between using a conventional four-cylinder engine running E85 and stored grid electricity on the back of our vehicle, we are able to actually reduce the amount of petroleum used on board by over 90%. Uh, in addition to that, we have a small motor manufactured by a local motor company called Cole Morgan that allows us to do engine idle start-stop as well as load level the engine. We don't have a conventional 12-volt alternator on this car. What we have is a, a way to take the 360 volts of the battery pack and step it down to be able to charge this 12-volt battery as well as run any other accessory loads like headlights, turn signals, fans, coolant pumps on board the vehicle. On the rear axle of our vehicle, we have an electric motor that gives us the ability to go 50 plus miles on a single charge from our battery pack. Uh, we can go up to highway speeds. We were able to take this vehicle from Blacksburg all the way up to Washington, D.C. and back without any major uh, problems. One of the features that we added to our vehicle was an external charge port so that you could charge the vehicle without having to open any doors or leave things open. Uh, our charge port is located on the side of the vehicle right here. It looks just like a uh, standard gas door, but when you open it up you have a uh, standard SAE 1772 uh, charge port, which is the new standard for all electric vehicles going into production. Another big feature that we uh, wanted to include in our vehicle was a driver display that showed what was going on with the vehicle at any given time. The driver display here shows you uh, electric range, uh, E85 range, and also shows you, uh, based on what you're doing with the vehicle, which part, which component is powering the vehicles. Here at Tech, one of the things that I think is uh, great about the programs that they offer is the ability to take what you learn in the classroom and actually apply it in the field, in a lab, and actually be able to see the fruits of your labor pay off. 